Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna continue the Newcastle theme, as you can tell. We're gonna roll on down to the next Pet Quarter stores, which is about 20 minutes away. We're gonna hit up Pet Quarter's Belmont. Okay, so as you can see here on the map, we've headed south by about 19 to 20 minutes from the uh, Broadmeadow store down uh, the Pacific Highway to uh, the Belmont store. Okay, so as you approach, you see you've got that familiar Pet Quarters branding, that bright orange building with the uh, blue sign. And when you come out the back, you can see we've got a large dedicated parking space, which is always really handy if you're going to be lugging uh, lots of buckets of water around, or of course, if you're uh, picking up a uh, shiny new tank, you don't want to be carrying it across the road or you know, down the street to another car park. Um, you can see the store's open seven days a week, and uh, this is actually one of the smaller stores, but it's still huge. And you can see all to the right there's your uh, bird, cat, and dog section. Um, and they've got quite a decent range there. Um, all the familiar brands that you'd be expecting at, um, I'm sure, good prices. I must admit, I didn't even look at the prices, but um, I'm sure they're good. Um, lots of kennels, all sorts there. Uh, crates if uh, your dog's injured or you're uh, crate training them. And uh, of course, there's plenty of uh, Christmas toys as we enter that time of year, but uh, you'll notice the familiar glow of uh, the blue neon aquarium sign, and that's directly where I'm going to head because uh, most of this store, once you get past the uh, the sort of the, the seasonal items in the middle of the store there, the entire left side of the store, in fact, you can see some of the uh, Primo items up there. So we've got Vectras, we've got... Um, uh, we've got uh, some uh, Ecotech lights, Radians, and then uh, you'll see this beautiful red seep and inch of a display here. And uh, you know you're in the aquarium section, and it's a little familiar um, scene as I just pop the uh, lens on, mainly to check out this incredible uh, Scopaz tang there. He's uh, got a little bit of a uh, koi pattern to him, which is, um, yeah, a pretty fancy fish for a store. And check out this incredible uh, piece up there, the Monty with um, stag growing out of it. That was hand-selected by uh, Salty Pets and fits in this tank perfectly. So you can see uh, we've got some nice, uh, looks like we've got some uh, barley slimer there, got a couple of frags growing away. We've got some um, pokey on the side there, a beautiful elegance. Uh, that looks like a really long tentacle fungia down the bottom there. Not a helio, but a uh, fungia with quite long tentacles. Um, you can see that uh, beautiful uh, Montipora with stag piece there. And this being the uh, Red Sea Peninsula is lit by the uh, Red Sea Reefer LEDs in that uh, beautiful fitting they do. Uh, you can see they've got this couch here front and center. So uh, if uh, your partner wants to come in and have a look at uh, the Christmas themed dog toys, you can just sit back on the couch there and um, chill out and enjoy this aquarium for uh, everything that it is. Now, one thing that they do have here at uh, Pet Quarters in Belmont is they've got kind of the opposite end of the spectrum, I guess. And that's, um, and you've got to be fair to this tank, it has only just been set up, but it's a soft coral tank. So the guys here find that a lot of people come in and see that Red Sea Reef and go, that's incredible, I want it. Um, and then when they tell them how much it all costs, people nearly fall into that couch. So uh, we've got uh, the opposite end there. We've got the softy tank, which they show the other end of what you can do. And you can even see this uh, water box 20 here. Everything that's in there is $13.99, including livestock. So it's a good way to be able to show people that you don't have to spend 10 grand on an aquarium. You can come in at a little bit closer to the $1,000 mark um, and still have good quality gear. I'll just pop that filter off so we don't get that yellow tinge across everything. You see those fish tank TVs, ones that I think are really cool for uh, kids getting into the uh, scene. And we've got a really nicely displayed range of uh, freshwater tanks here. I say freshwater tanks, I mean you can put salt water in them, I guess, if you wanted to. But check out this little uh, terrarium style tank here. It's got um, a cool little clay pot at the top there, the water flows through. Only 220 bucks um, to take away with, again, everything that you see, which is a really nice way of doing it. It's almost like the aquarium version of drive away, no more to pay. Um, we've got some nice fluval tanks there. And you can see, despite this being supposedly one of the smaller stores, a huge percentage of it is dedicated to aquariums. Um, so ranging from uh, foods and medications, and um, we've got uh, the uh, new Life Spectrum Probiotics foods here, which are uh, new on the scene in Australia and are really cool. They've got uh, bacteria in them, which basically clean the food up that's not eaten themselves, which is a nice little touch. We've got a good assortment of skimmers there, from the Red Seas to the Great Whites to uh, Aqua Twists. Got some water boxes on tank. We've got uh, uh, Vortex pumps there on the shelf. We've got a uh, full range of the Aqua One gear there from uh, filters and little uh, uh, air bubblers and things like that. We've got some cool uh, terrariums here. Oh, sorry, it's a vivarium. Yeah, you can see Keep Coral and Reef on. That's because I don't know anything about vivariums other than they look cool. 
We've got this uh, little glass cabinet which has um, some of our specialized items in there. So we've got the Red Sea Reefer LEDs, we've got hammer checkers, we've got uh, the Yellow Marine glue guns, um, the, uh, the Ecotech pumps there. You see the uh, dry rock display as well. Of course, you've got a good assortment of uh, frozen foods, not just for aquariums, but also for, uh, you know, snakes and other reptiles, things like that. You've got uh, quantum range air, good assortment of different sands along the bottom, the full aquaforest range, a huge amount of the uh, Red Sea range too, and you see how nicely everything's faced up. It's a bit of a benefit of having a uh, dedicated pet store, not just aquarium, where the, the, the display means a lot in these stores, and um, it shows you can see uh, we've got the uh, Reef Revolution range there, Coral Essentials, got the Polyp Lab Colors and Aminos. Um, on the end here, we've got a uh, scaping section. So not just rock in this instance, there's also um, some driftwood. And it continues around the corner with some, uh, looks like some nice variety of rocks and branches there. Everything you'd need to make a cool scape. And if you needed some inspiration, there's a couple more tanks here that have some scapes built. But uh, this is the area most people want to see, and that's the um, livestock section, although we've got to cross the salt first. You can see a great assortment of brands of salt there from uh, Red Sea, Aquaforest, Quantum, good assortment of salts. But let's check out some of these livestocks. Got a beautiful lavender tang here and a stunning, uh, what have we got, a magenta streaked wrasse. I've done some photographs of those guys before, and they just photograph unbelievably. Such a cool fish. And it's something you don't see in a, a most pet stores, I would say. You normally only find them in dedicated aquarium stores, and that's um, a tank full of seahorses. They're a really nice little crossover uh, pet. They get um, something about uh, non-aquarium people really love seahorses. I guess Disney have probably promoted them well in movies or something like that, but uh, excellent way of getting people in. You've got cool little uh, file fish down there. Another one of these stunning wrasses. There's a uh, gold bar maroon clown. Awesome little guy. I say little. He's pretty big. Another wrasse. We've got a cleaner wrasse. Got a beautiful angel there that'll munch your coral in no time flat, but have a look at the colors on him. He looks pretty uh, fired up too. Got a bunch of uh, blue green chromas here. Good staple for every reef marine tank. Some more fired up angels. We've got some uh, light anthias, powder blue. Tang, yeah, light tails chilling out there on each end of the tank. What's this ras here? He's a New Guinea ras. Yeah, he's pretty striking with the uh, white and black. Um, you see it only 38 bucks too. That's a cheap fish. Uh, what have we got in here? Lovely little, uh, I think that's a potter's. Stunning little guy. Got a flame angel there. The fish are pretty fired up. I think these guys may have only just gone into the tank uh, a couple of hours before we got here. So uh, still getting, uh, working out the pecking order in each little uh, section. Got some uh, nice clowns there, and of course a little uh, Valentini puffer. Oh, beautiful angel there, majestic angel. Absolutely stunner. Got a Fijian fox face there. And we move over into the freshwater section. So you've got some of the uh, cool... Uh, uh, designer goldfish there. Looks like one guy is, might be struggling a little bit. I'll let the staff know. I've got some plants and your sort of more schooling uh, freshwater fish. Of course, you've still got, like you'll find in every one of the pet goddess stores, the uh, dog grooming and uh, DIY bath section. Got another one of these cool cascading uh, freshwater plant tanks, um, which is just a really nice way of displaying freshwater plants. And you can see, just like the other store, the cables all go up to the roof, so you can walk all the way around the tank. There's no cables or anything to trip over. And probably my favorite section of the store is the uh, coral tank. So let's uh, get a filter on so we get a better look. All right, so here we go. We can see we've got um, a good assortment of uh, trachophilias and gonoporias in there. Um, there's some lobos and some fungiers. You can see a uh, nice little uh, sun coral, some uh, wild zoanthid rocks there, priced really well. We've got some uh, elegance, a good assortment of uh, LPS and hammers and torches and frog spawns there. And uh, some of my favorite, the SPS. Check out the quality of these SPS in what I would um, describe as, it's, it's an all-round pet store. And have a look at the SPS in here. We've got an incredible Echinata, some beautiful Aquapora. You see some great Monty pieces there, a nice uh, Pavona over the back there, I believe. Um, just some crazy pieces and some great prices too. I mean, wild colonies like that for 50 bucks Australian. There's some even cheaper there at 40. Um, just beautiful pieces. Come around the side here, we've got a good assortment of some acans and all sorts of colors. And I must admit, they're all looking very, very healthy. Big fat flesh on them. 
Um, you can see some bower bankies, which I think are now really starting to become popular here in Australia. Um, we've got some, uh, looks like turbinarias there, some more bower bankies. Um, what else we got here? Some uh, uh, dragon soul pieces there. We got uh, some deshis, a good assortment of deshis and cynarias. In fact, look at the colors of those there. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> you can see the one I'm pointing out there, two-tone cynaria is just... Um, that's cool. I don't know uh, how that's still sitting there. And in fact, there's a couple there with the ultra bright green rim. Um, you can see a good look at those uh, good sized. Uh, there's a nice bubble coral there. Check out that deshi with the red stripes. Wow. Um, we've got some chalice pieces in there. Uh, you know, we've got a great range here. And again, remember, this is an all round pet store. It's hard to believe that you can have such quality items like this at the same place where you pick up um, cat litter and dog food. It blows my mind. And I think it probably is the future of. Um, Pet stores, as we get a little bit niche in Australia, check out that Rodactus with uh, the bright greens in there. And yeah, just a you know nice little um, anemone in there with some uh, designer clowns, as you do. Um, some more designer clowns. Just absolutely cracking stock for what is self-described as uh, one of the smaller pet quarter stores. Um, it just uh, is something to see. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've got a couple more pet quarter stores to go. So if... Um, you want to get a little bit more inspiration to head on down to uh, Newcastle and check out uh, these stores. Keep watching and um, look forward to it. Thanks, guys. Bye.